Wait a minute. Are you serious? I can control the unit. <gasps> oh, look at this. Well, hello there, Shilrox here. Today we're looking at Make Your Kingdom. Now, this is a up and coming uh, city building game where you've got to survive, revive and develop a settlement. This is a new settlement and we're going to choose the best way of developing it. So this is the actual the demo for it. And it's by a developer called Yo Serijo. I think that's how you pronounce it. Or oh, no, Yo Sergio. That's definitely how you pronounce it. So this is the prologue. So it's just a simple way of getting the developer to show someone interested in the game by giving them sort of... It's not quite early access. It's it's what the game's going to be like. It's, it's before the game. So we're going to do the tutorial. So here we go. So we need to first of all place our main building. This is going to temporarily stop the refugees arriving in this land. So where are we going to put it though? That is a question everyone's asking me. We can do T and G for zoom or we can also we can zoom in pretty nicely actually. All right, so where do we want to make home? There's a massive big lake over there Ooh, and one there as well. Where do I want to build? Oh, there's, there's a few places I want to build. I like the idea of this, of a forest and a lake. That would be sweet. I'd, I'd go live there. I literally would. If you had the internet there, I'd go live there. Okay, so I'm going to... It's best to place a cha place near mountains for... Okay. Maybe this isn't the best place. Where's these red berries then? Hmm. So here's a lake. Oh, it looks so pretty. Look at it. I can see some red berries there. And there is mountains there. Does it want me to place here? Okay, and press R to rotate. So I'm gonna I'm gonna place it facing backwards because I think that's where we're gonna be going mostly. Okay, it's time to take care of manufacturing resources required for construction of buildings. Find the icon Forester's House in production. So here's production. So, oh, I love these. This is like from uh, Settlers. So it's it's like the circle of life. It's turning the wood into uh, usable goods and replanting it. So we're going to put down a forester's house. And we're going to place that down. A road, a road must be built to the building. Hmm. So all buildings must be connected to a road network. Click on the red button above the building or select rows. So let's click that. And we're just going to connect that to the main building there. Our residents are working on our, their own. We can only provide them with the opportunities to work. There we go. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. That's how I build it. Look, I just like, just going to throw this here because I don't know what I'm doing. Don't know how much resources we need. Why is that? Is that enough? Do we need more? No, no, no. We need more. Look, we need one of these planks now. Nice. Now we can place a mine. So that's again, that's in here. That was there. It wants me to place it over here. Wait a minute. Why does it want me to place it there, though? What's so special about that spot? Um, place it there and then we need to connect the road to it so it's sort of auto doing the road for me we'll do the road like that and can I oh look at this I can move oh so we've built the mine into the base of the mountain that's good so you can see the resources for what I need to build that as well when you click on it right forester's house site for processing logs into planks the closer the logs to the forester's house, the faster the planks are produced. Okay, let's get rid of that then. Right, so we're currently building. We're going to be building this. But we need three lots of wood still. Here we go. One, two, three. Here it comes. And then we're going to build it. 
Nice. Good job. We need to provide the residents for housing. Now we uh, need to build two houses near the main building, away from Forrester's house. Who would like <laughs> Who would like to live next door to his building? Yeah, I think I think the constant banging and stuff would be a bit horrible. So, uh, where's residential? Residential looks like it's in Kingdom. And um, we've got residential. Okay, now where do we want to um, place this? Let's do it a little bit over here. And we'll click that to do the road. Connect it up. Yes. So eight wood and four stone to build that. I do like how they just willy-nilly just throw the stuff. Oh, cool. Look at this. Look at, look at us building it. How cool is that? Okay, my uh, little uh, forester's hut over there looks like that's processing stuff nicely. Looks like we're wizards. We're just building this with a lot of telekinesis, look. Come on, build it and they will come. That is so clever. If anyone, uh, does anyone remember a thing called weebles? That's what these remind me of, little weeble characters. Right. We've done that one. Maximum number of residents depending on sum of positive and negative factors and desire needs. I can fit three people in this. I mean, we've got our mine over here. So are we, are we outputting stone in this? There we go, look. All right, so what are these little mood things over their heads? What do they want? I think they want um, a place to live. How many people have I actually got then? Okay, so I've got 10. Right, I need to do more houses then. Right, now we need to select the area to gather resources. Select the log house in mining and by holding the left mouse button and select the area for more than five trees. Log house and then we need to select some trees. Cool. Now you need to distinguish edible berries which can be collected. So red berries is on this one. Okay, that's some selected there as well. Cool, so that's two jobs queued up there. How's the housing crisis coming on? Because we've still got... I think we need to do another two houses. Soon will come new residents. They need access to fresh water. I need to build a well. Right, so we're going to we'll go to Kingdom. And we're doing a well. I don't know if we need a road from that, so... We're right next to it, though, so it's fine. Okay, so... This is... Oh, yes, so... This is number of residents, number of rooms. Game speed is space one, two, or three. Is that rain? Oh, look. <laughs> that, that's, that's what the sound was. It's the residents arriving. It's an airship. Oh, that's cool. All right, so what's the big mysterious thing? There are homeless people in the... Yeah, we know that. We're already on that. We're building these up here. We're just taking a while to build. We need to, we're, we're building a well. It's going to take us a while to build. Nice, we built it. Okay, our buildings gradually deteriorate and crumble. Need to build an architect's house, which will monitor the state of buildings. That can also be found in Kingdom. Right, so... Architect's house. Checks the condition of buildings and roads. Put that there. And then let's connect that to the road. Oh, it's time to take care of residents. We construct a market. Wait a minute. All right, we'll build a market as well then. I'm building all these things. Just a bit worried this one's not connected to the road. There you go. Should be connected now. Okay, what's it telling me to do now? We need more free hands. Assign fewer jobs in production buildings. Don't know how to do that. You've not told me how to do that. I mean, once we've built these other buildings, we should be okay for the amount of people doing stuff. Let's see how many accommodation we've got now after this. Is it going to be about 20? Yeah, 20. Cool. We've got our little well as well. <laughs> oh, well as well. Oh. Couldn't I couldn't actually write these uh these sayings. That's so good. The architect's house checks the conditions of the building and fixes the ones that need the repair. He also builds the roads and lights the torches at night. Repairing buildings requires planks. Repairing roads is store. Evenly place architect's house around the city. Okay, so he's going to go around and uh, try and fix up all the buildings. 
Sounds like the uh, the airship's here again. Let's get the next message here. Okay, there are no trees marked on the log. There's nothing to make... Okay, so we need to do more. Which one was it now? Was it mining? Yeah, we need we need more trees. I'm, I'm having all of them. There we go. All right, not all new residents have remains. There wasn't enough space. Well, how so, how quickly do you think I can build these houses? Okay, to establish the production of bread, build farms of type food, and don't forget about home food. Yeah, we know, we know. I need to make food though, so production. Coal burner, that's not it. So where is this? Build farm of type food. So it needs eight wood and four stone. All right, I'm going to stick it over here. No, I can stick. No, 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 no. Why? <laughs> Why? 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 Why would I build the road behind like that? That just makes no sense. All right, so we've got a farm here now. Site for growing and collecting wheat from the fields. Optimum number of fields for a farm. Wow, one farm and two workers is 12. All right, let's see what this says now. Yeah, there's homeless people. Yeah, we, we, knew, we knew that was going to happen. Oh, cool. Look, here's the architect. Oh, hello, he's lighting stones on the... Uh, well, he's lighting fires on the buildings. So we need to figure out this farm. So we need to build um, fields for this now. So is that under that field? All right. So it said... 12 is maximum. So let's do... 6 there. Six there. Right, so, message, fine. Wheat needs to be recycled and baked bread. Build a windmill. Also need a well nearby. I've already got a well. It's all the way over there, though. Right, let's see if I can do it here. And go up the side of the building. We also need to get... Oh, okay. We need to make a, a coal... A coal burner. Now, can I build my road up the side here? Like that. No, I don't want to go in that. No, I still don't want to go in that. Right, so where's the coal burner? Production. Coal burner. Let's have it facing here. Connect it up. Oh, look at them all going mining. Whoa! I'm <laughs> super excited to get that resources out of the mine then. More people arriving. We're on 28 now. So this is going to be the windmill apparently. And that's going to make flour. I'm assuming we're going, to, we're going to need a baker's shop as well. We might get to see some bread getting made in a bit. So we've just brought some wood. Uh, sorry, wheat. Then we're going to take that to the windmill. There you go. Oh, look at that little conveyor belt. And this is going to output flour. Right, we've got one goal to find a better place for people. Let us organise the expedition. Activate collecting expedition in the main building. I'm really not sure where to go for that. What's this? Wait a minute. Are you serious? I can control the unit. <gasps> oh, look at this. That's my coal burner. Right, where's the, where's the mine? I want to go check the mine out. Right, here's the mine over here. Oh, this is interesting. Can we go in it? Not really in it, in it, but... Oh, that is cool. That is cool. And that was just from pressing B. I do like that. It just says in the main building, so it's got to be in here. So if we do assemble an expedition, click that. So we need five boards and three stones. Let's clear that. So if we start collecting the resources for this now. Oh, oh my giddy ant, we're gonna we're gonna build a flying ship. We are, aren't we? We're gonna build a flying airship. Just when you think a game couldn't get any cooler. 
Are these all helping out? Look at these. Right, let's speed this up while we build our houses up then. Woo! We sent the expedition! Well, that was pretty cool. So we've gone off to a new town. Oh, I did like that. So yeah, this is uh, this is Make Your Kingdom. I did I did like that. I won't mind uh, I won't mind playing some more of that. Let me know what you think of that in the comments box below. Anyway, my name is Shirley Rocks. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to ring a ding my bell. Drop me a sub. Leave me a comment. It all helps with the interactions, and I love hearing from you. Thank you for watching. See you next time.